the track has been in record-breaking shape for the past couple of days of practice. George Fury yesterday, certainly the cat amongst the pigeons with the Nissan Turbo Bluebird, a car that has had some problems during the Australian Touring Car Championship this year with reliability. But however, it has got pole position. And time now to look at the top ten qualifiers, how they'll line up today. From position 10 in car number 12 is England's Tom Walkingshaw, the European Touring Car Champion in the Wang Jaguar. His co-driver is former winner Johnny Goss. From position 9, the WB1 Mazda RX-7, it'll be driven today by the 1976 winner Bobby Morris and experienced Barry Jones of Sydney. Position 8, and it's the second of the Moffat Mazda RX-7s with Queensland's Greg Hansford at the wheel, a fast man around the mountain on two as well as four wheels. Position 7, and it's Sydney Steve Masterton in the Masterton Homes 2 WS Falcon V8. It's car number 2, and his co-driver is veteran Bruce Stewart. Position 6, the black BMW 635, and former great race winner Jim Richards of Victoria. His co-driver is Queensland's Tony Longhurst. For position 5, four times Bathurst winner Alan Moffat in the number 43 blue and white Mazda RX-7. Cockpit assistance today from Greg Hansford. Out of position 4 is hard-charging Alan Grice of Sydney in the Roadways Commodore V8. He's been second twice and plans to improve on that today. His co-driver is talented Steve Harrington. For position four, Queensland's former winner and master of the ad-lib, Dick Johnson. He'll be at the wheel of the Palmer Tube Mills Falcon and joining him is veteran John French. For position two, a man who owns this mountain, seven times winner Peter Brock in the 05 dealer team Commodore. His partner is the experienced Larry Perkins. And for position one, the quiet man of Australian motorsport, George Fury in the Nissan Turbo Bluebird Car 15. The friendly farmer is joined today by the impressive Queenslander, Gary Scott. And now the Grand Marshal for the 1984 James Hardy 1000, the Right Honourable, the Mayor of Bathurst, Alderman Bruce Bolan. Racers, start your engines. And the engines start. For the 64 cars that will contest the 1984 great race. There's the view through the windscreen of Dick Johnson's Falcon, sitting on second row of the grid, ahead of him, that man George Fury and Peter Brock. One minute board. Last minute check by drivers, check the harness, check the adjustment of the seat, check the gloves, check the helmet, check communications with the pit. As far as what's going on under the bonnet and under the car, too late. If it hasn't been done now. Alan Grice and the Roadways Commodore prepares to go off the line on the outside of the second row. 30 seconds. And that's the scene. Look at the crowd. Down both sides. Pit lane on the left. The crowd on the outside of the track on the right. The Hardy Bridge looking back through the field. Look at him. Ten seconds to the great race of 84, the James Hardy 1000. Down goes the flag and the 1984 James Hardy 1000 is up the way and it is George Fury, Peter Brock and Alan Grice running up with Hannah Prang. Steve Masterton's gone in, Tom Walkinshaw is stalled there on the starting line. The rest of the field passing him by. He's been collected by a Camaro. Peter Williamson has also gone into the side of his car and we have the track blocked across the main straightaway. So we've had uh, a very, very big accident here at the start of the race. It's got to be a restart, surely. I mean, the traffic will never get through here. They're going to have to flag them down across the top of the mountain and bring them back for a restart. Uh, oh, my goodness, look at it. Well, walking shore, stalled on the grid. The big Camaro, 34, slammed into him. Couldn't possibly avoid him. Unfortunately, that's the uh, Bundy and uh, car entry. Well, we have uh, the mechanics jumping across the wall now. There will be a restart to the James Hardy 1000. Tom Walkinshaw is all right. Peter Williamson slumped over his car. Tesorero and Tyndall, my apologies, in the uh, Camaro, not Bundy and car. And then, of course, uh, the Camaro hit the Jag. The Camaro spun sideways, and Williamson, who was coming up uh, behind them, couldn't possibly avoid it. And the three of them, virtually nose to tail across the track, have completely blocked the last 12 or 14 cars on the grid. Never before in the history of the great race have we seen anything like this. Let's have a look at the start. Steve Masterton, I think you'll find on the inside near the wall, was launched 
Then another car finishes going up on the wall. There's Walkinshaw, you can see with his hand up. But the field keeps coming in. Peter Williamson will be the next to arrive and will glance off him. Here comes the big Camaro. Right, Crunch into the rear of the Jag. They spin sideways. Williamson into the rear of the Camaro. The three of them, nose to tail, spread out. Block the pit straight completely. Wow. We have a... Conrad That's the Valentine RX-7. The one that, of course, uh, was to be driven by uh, Murray Carter. So he has uh, launched off the circuit up there. But we've been concentrating on the drama down here at the start finishing area. Moffat is OK and his car also OK, apparently. So if it was him involved in that touch with uh, Steve Masterton's big Falcon, he came out of it OK. Uh, Masterton's car, we're still trying to get a report there. Might just recap exactly what happened again. Off the start, look across to the concrete wall and you'll notice the coming together. There's Marston received a hit. He then squeezes Moffat against the wall and Moffat almost up over the wall. Tom Walkingshaw, lame duck, hand out. The engine, the car has not got off the line. 35 cars got past him though. Yes, quite Before so. he got uh, hit in the rear. There was a slight touch there from someone. I didn't see who. And then... Uh, Along comes the Camaro to do a proper job on him. And a Williamson, of course, being caught in the wash-up. His car probably the most substantially damaged. Much smaller, of course, than the Camaro and the Jag. Tom, uh, what happened out there on the grid? Well, uh, I had about five and a half thousand on it and I dro dropped the clutch, uh, which is what you're supposed to do with that type of clutch. And I just sheared the centre straight out the clutch. I got my hand out the window to warn everyone uh, behind and most of the guys saw me and got out the road and then I saw this damn Camaro come down and uh, you know, from about 60 yards back looking in my mirror I knew he was going to hit and I kept my hand up as long as I could and then just the last minute if you look at the replay you'll see I pull it in because uh, I knew we were going we were going to take off and that's what happened. Any injuries? No, I was slightly banged my hand but that's all. Tom, the Jaguar looks very badly damaged. It's a tough break for your first trip to Bathurst. Yeah, but at least the sun's shining now. <laughs> OK, thanks. Obviously, the number 77, Williamson, O'Brien, Toyota, Walkinshaw and Goss are out, and Tesserero and Tyndall are also out at this stage. Carter and Murden out also on lap one with the other incident. So we have uh, four there out of the race.